Okay, I should probably announce that I'm streaming this. Okay, I should probably announce that. <clears throat> uh, okay, I've announced this on thing. I'm sorry if anybody's actually watching right now. Uh, until I see something in chat, I'm not going to bother. Um, I'm not going to bother to say very much. except for to occasionally come back and say, hey, say something in chat if you're watching. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this is – I'm doing a uh, challenge here. And you know what I should do? Uh, I should put the URL to the challenge on the screen. Please hold while I – do all the stuff I should have done before I started screaming. And I'll put it here. Let's make the font size a little bit smaller. That's super small. <laughs> Properties. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know if that's if that's obvious to anybody. Okay, I guess that'll 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 work. Okay. Um but yeah the, the challenge here is to build um a rocket in the demo version. I don't have the demo version. I don't want to bother getting it. So I've uh, jotted down all the parts that are available in the demo version, and I'm going to try it. I'm going to play it at 1.0.4 just for uh, randomness. And I have no mods installed except for um, the toolbar and uh, the uh, ambient light adjustment so I can make it brighter so people can watch it easier. Um, let's move this up here so it's not in the way. There we go. Okay, so in the in the version here, all you get is this guy in Stay Putnik. We're gonna ignore Stay Putnik because you know it's Stay Putnik. Um, you only get this fuel tank, this fuel tank, and the fuel line here. You only get the Reliant and um, the hammer and the flea. Oops. You only get the small reaction wheel, RCS thruster pack. Oh, yeah, you also get uh, the small radial RCS jets. That one. Or not jets, but you know what I mean. So, yeah, you get the, the RCS thing and then this thing here. You get um, the modular girder segment and a strut. And what the heck else do you get? Um, inline decoupler, launch clamps. This inline decoupler, launch clamps. And uh, the radial decoupler, the one that you start with, this one. And then the nose cone and the tail fin. Not the, not the starter tail fin either. This nose cone and the one that used to be the starter tail fin, which is this one. And, uh, the, and then in utility, we get the starter landing gear, which is this guy right here. You get uh, a parachute, which is really all you need. <laughs> uh, one of the old fold-out solar panels, which I don't know which one it is, but let's assume that it's the 1x6. Um, the, the cheapo ladder that just sticks on the side of your ship, which is, let's say... Oh, wow, I'm trying to scroll with the, with the mouse wheel. That's what not having mods does for you. This ladder right here... Um, and the very smallest battery, and then some science, which I don't care about because we're, we're not doing a science mission. Okay, so let's start over. 
Let's start over with the command pod and let's put a parachute on it so we don't forget. Let's also put a decoupler right at the bottom. Uh, let's see, a decoupler right at the bottom. And then a uh, fuel tank. I think we're going to go with two fuel tanks and a Reliant engine, because that's all you get. I also think perhaps... Put one reaction wheel here. And then we're going to put the solar panels we like right here. We're just going to put two of them. Okay, ideally this is what's going to land on Moon. Um... Not really happy with the uh, <laughs> with the lack of landing gear, but I'm not 100% sure I want to screw around with this landing gear. Um, you know what? With the with the thing like this, we could do probably do that. I could probably land that on the moon. Um, I should probably also have chat up. Francois, hello. <laughs> you had the window open since I gave you the link in YouTube. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, and kill a crust. Uh, smiley 4L. I don't know what 4L means. I'm old. So you're going to have to tell me what that means. Um, but here we go. Okay. So anyway, back to, back to the thing here. We've got the very low landing gear. I could push this up into the engine a little bit. I don't like to do it, but I'm going to do it a little bit, just, just for the, the walls here. I think I think that is, is a fair amount. Um, oh, the four L's are the solar panels. Aha! I See, I thought you were being all cool and twitchy. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, the, uh, the Ox 4L. Okay, sweet. Thank you. Okay. So this should land on Moon. I think, I think that'll land on Moon and be able to get me home. That's my guess. I don't know. I'm not doing any any work here. Um, this is this was the guy who posted it. Uh, if you look up here, I hope you can actually read the text. Um, the uh, this was a challenge for this guy's students to to build a, a rocket in the demo that could land on moon and return. So let's actually just copy this whole thing here. Toss this stuff. Go ahead and do that. Um, we're probably going to put solids on the bottom here, so I think this is fair. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this off. Let's get our radial decoupler. Uh, let's actually put them right here. I think I'm actually going to do four-way, so let's go, let's go two by two here. Two by two, hands of blue. Um, and I'm actually going to connect this thing on the bottom. Maybe the second one. And then we'll put some nose cones on here. <laughs> Kill across, not you. You're not. You're not part of the the cool Twitch crowd that knows all the cool lingo and everything. So we got these here, and then we'll just put these here as well. And we want the fuel to drain from the back to the front, I think. Uh, so we're going to go boom to boom. And whoop, boom to boom. That actually shouldn't matter, but oh well. Um, the main thing is I wanted to drain from the back so that, that this fuel actually... Yeah, I want this fuel to be the last to come out. Although, actually, I, now that I think about it, I, whoop, oopsie, I screwed up. Probably want it from here. Because I think when you when you drain fuel out of a uh, the very bottom tank, it might screw up the engines. They don't like to not have fuel in their tanks. So, okay, we'll do that and that. And then these decouplers need to go first. And these ones go second then uh, this one's probably going to be the very first one to go. And then this one, okay, and then all these engines go at the beginning, except for this one. 
which actually doesn't need its own thing. And then we're going to do this and that. Okay. Now we're going to put some solids on the bottom here. Da da da. Where's our. There it is. I think we're going to go crazy here. All the solids, including you. And then all these decouplers. And then the main engines. Okay, we better strut this thing up before we get too crazy here. Um, let's see. You could strut here, I guess. You could strut here, I guess. And then you also need to strut to the main stack. Oh, that's no good. Uh, how about up a little bit? There we go. There we go. Probably not necessary, but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay. Let's try this. I don't. I don't know if it, how well it'll work, but you won't know till you try. Sip of my coffee here. Hold on. Okay, let's turn the computer on. Uh, let's, geez, I, like all these things that don't happen. Like this should be over here. <laughs> should be, uh, I need to move this guy a little bit so when I try to do anything with him, I don't accidentally abort the mission. There we go. And uh, computer on. Throttle up because, you know, I'm a caveman. And three, two, one, launch. <laughs> And we are going fast. We have a thrust weight of two, which is kind of crazy. We're going to start tilting right away. I'm a little concerned about that middle um, thruster. I don't know for sure if it's going to have problems or not. Okay, I'm going to leave it like this. Obviously didn't have problems. Okay, now we need to do everything in map mode because we're animals. Okay, at 20 degrees. God, and the navel is so small. Oh, okay, we're having problems. We need fins. Okay, let's revert this guy to vehicle assembly. Okay, so we need fins. We need huck fins here. Um... I also should probably have all the stuff uh, set up in map mode and stuff before I launch. So let's get fins here and here. We shouldn't need them on the upper stage. By the time we get to this middle stage, we should be high enough in the atmosphere that we won't need fins. Okay, so let's go to map mode. Let's set this up the way we like it. Let's do this. Let's do this. T Z space. Okay, yeah, our Apple Apple is crazy going fast. We're at four kilometers. Yeah, we're not gonna have a very efficient ascent. How do you people play this game? Well, our rocket is now too stable. <laughs> I'm actually going to throttle down a little bit so I can not fly into the sky. I also have to watch the, uh, the engines here, and when I lose these engines, we're going to lose a lot of stability. A lot of stability. In exactly the wrong axis. <laughs> I do not I do not recommend throttling down when you're when you're during your ascent, but I don't really have a choice. I'm actually gonna rotate this guy. 
So I'm more stable this way. Yeah, because our apoapsis is already 70. I'm actually going to try to burn sideways here. See you, Francois. Thanks for uh, thanks for coming on. Oh, I think we just lost our fuel. Yep. Let's get rid of those. Okay, I think we can get into orbit now. We're already at 60 kilometers, so let's go ahead and open these up. Okay, and let's go ahead and get this guy into space. That's fine. Okay. Aim at the maneuver node. At least we can do that. And let's see, it's in a minute, and it's guessing we have 45 second burn, so at about 20 seconds or so, I'm going to hit the gas. I'm going to flip around because I like up being up. I think we have plenty of fuel. I'm past my apoapsis, so I'm actually tilting up a little bit here. So I don't push it away from me too much. And... That's good. Okay, how are we doing on fuel? We are very low on fuel. <laughs> A lot lower than I wanted to be. Okay, let's go to the moon now. You won't know until you try. You won't know until you try. Okay. Set you as a target. Could also do it over here. I think I'm going to. A little bit of extra burn on here just to. There we go. A nice low periapsis. That's fine. 858 meters per second. I have no idea. Um, it says it's a 27 second burn, so it's going to get through most of this fuel, or all of this fuel, and then maybe a half a tank of this. I think I, I might still have this. I don't know that for a fact. We'll find out in a second here. And by a second, I mean 28 minutes. Bring up the ambient light a little bit. Tell me if that's too bright or not bright enough or anything like that. It's weird not having Kerbal alarm clock slowing me down. But I think we should get down to about, say, about there. So now we're going to be burning a lot faster because we're carrying a lot less weight than we were before. And I went a little too far. What's our periapsis? Our periapsis is too much. So let's actually burn retrograde just a little bit while we've got the Oberth effect here. I'm actually going to focus on Moon. Click that. Oh. There we go. Okay, that's 50 kilometers, and it's coming around the dark side. So I'm actually going to burn all the way so that we're coming back on the bright side. Because ideally, I'll just come in and land right away. Uh, X. <laughs> How's that? A couple hundred meters off the surface? 
Now I'll probably hit it one more time. Let's actually uh, thrust limit our engine down. We've used up half of our fuel, so I'm, I'm very concerned that we don't have the fuel for this. Very, very concerned we don't have the fuel for this. Let's see, five kilometers should be fine. Okay, let's go ahead and get out there. I have the fuel to land, I just don't think I have the fuel to get home. Doesn't the game take care of sphere of influence changes now? Yeah, it does. Okay. Okay. What's it going to take to stop? A nine minute burn, which is obviously wrong because I thrust limited my engine. Still thinks it's nine minutes, but obviously it's not. It's going to be very short because we've got a super powerful engine. Okay, let's go. Ahead. Whoa, I totally forgot that I don't have Kerbal Alarm Clock and I haven't saved. So we, we need to start over anyway. <laughs> Where did I end up? <laughs> Oops. There is no Kerbal Alarm Clock installed on this save. I have to remember to hit, to hit Quick Save a few times because I'm going to do that many times. Let's go ahead and revert flight to vehicle assembly. We need, we need more fuel. And ideally, we need a way to utilize this engine on launch. But I don't really see that happening. I really don't see that happening. Um, now, I mean, we got plenty of thrust to weight. We have far more thrust to weight than we need. Let's just go for broke here. Uh, what am I doing? Let's do that. It just gives everything more awesome. Uh, we also want to modify, we want to rotate this whole stack, which I think that'll do. Nope. There we go. That way, when um, these these go off, or these ones go off first, and then we have these ones to keep our vertical stability. Um, I could also, I mean, when it all comes down to it, I could add fins to this guy, but uh, why would I do that? Okay, let's go ahead and try this now. Let's go ahead and save it, and I'll launch it. Okay, get our map mode set up, because we're animals who don't have Kerbal Engineer installed. That's the sun. Let me get back to Kerbin. Uh, the spacecraft, there we go. Okay. So there's that. Now let's do this. Okay. Let's rotate this around, because for some reason it went up there. Let's uh, turn the computer on. Let's throttle up, and three, two, one, launch. I'm going to get the turn started right away, because we lost a lot of fuel because of the fact that we uh, did not have a very good gravity turn. As soon as you start getting going fairly fast, you'll lose out on the gravity turn. So I'm going to be pretty um, aggressive here. I know that I'm not going to be able to later. Okay. Let's watch this. We're actually doing... This is this is fantastic. Still pretty shallow. But also lasting a lot longer than it was. Yeah, with 20, I want to be... I want to actually be lower than this. <laughs> I tell you to hold prograde while I do this. Okay. Yeah, you are this is this is fantastic. This is exactly what I want. 
Ignore the flames outside the ship. And I'm going to get up to about uh, 100 here. Could do it at 80, but I'm going to do it at 100. Okay. And we are fine. Yeah, this is this. These will actually help us get to moon. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be fine. We are gonna be fine. Okay, we are at 40 kilometers. I'm gonna actually turn off the computer for now until we get into space, and then I'm gonna open the solar panels and turn it back on. Okay, solar panels. Let's also get down to be down the way we like it. Set up our maneuver node here. As soon as we get into orbit, I'm going to drop a quick save. This doesn't matter that much because I'm not going to be following the maneuver node 100% here. Okay, so this is a 23 second burn. I think that's pretty accurate. So let's get down to about 11 seconds, give or take. So I'm thinking these engines aren't going to help us eject, but that's fine. We're taking a little bit longer than expected, but that's not a big deal either. Okay, what is our periapsis here? Periapsis is 80, 80 by 80. Or 100 by 100 we wanted. There we go. They're starting to flip. That means we are very close to perfect. 101 by 98. Good enough for me without Kerbal Engineering, that's for sure. Okay, back to the moon. Set as a target. Bam and bam. And that's good enough. Uh, go ahead and aim at that maneuver node. Oh, I said I was going to drop a quick save. Let's hit F5. There we go. Ah, I love coffee. It's uh, 5 in the evening for me here, if you're curious. Um, I work third shift, though, so it's kind of like about 8 in the morning, maybe. Actually, it's probably closer to about 5 in the morning, because I start work at 8 p.m., And we got a 30 second burn. So we're going to get down to about. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and hit F5 again. Why not? Get in the habit. We'll get down to about 15 seconds, and then we'll hit the gas. You always want to go a little bit less than halfway because as you do your burn, you're going to be burning up fuel and you're getting better thrust away. By the way, that's why when I said 37 seconds, I want to start at 15. Unless you're dropping tanks, then usually you're going to lower your thrust weight again, um, like, like during my ascent. I actually probably should have started that burn a little bit earlier than I did, but what's the big deal? There we go. Okay, let's kill this. Let's focus on moon. And wow, that is fantastic. Uh, I actually want to aim retrograde, though, because I went a tiny smidgen too far. I also want to thrust limit this engine a little bit. Or a lot bit. Okay, I'm going to use the... Time warp trick to very little. There we go. How high up is that? One kilometer, probably not enough. Uh, there we go. 
Two kilometers, probably not enough. <laughs> Five kilometers, that's enough. Okay, we're going to mark this occasion with a quick save. And then we are going to... Let's go ahead and just plan to stop right here. 800 meters per second. This probably won't have 800 meters per second in it, but it should have half, give or take. I don't know. Um, okay, this we should be able to just time warp as fast as we want. Because it's going to slow us down when we enter Moon's sphere of influence. Okay, now aim at the maneuver node. Okay, now I'm going to hit F5 again. And at 8. And let's see, we got an hour and 20 minutes. Let's slowly time warp ourselves down. Okay. I think we can actually just aim retrograde. And then, oh, got a thrust limit. I don't know how long this burn's going to be, but it's obviously not going to be 40 minutes. Um, it's probably going to be closer to, let's say, a minute at the most, probably closer to 30 seconds. So we'll get we'll get right down to periapsis here. Get about 15 seconds away. It's kind of crazy. This is not what I wanted. Okay. Just kill that. Stay aiming retrograde. Let's lower the landing gear. Okay, I think we should go get over this crater. Let's get this guy so up is up. We should get over this crater. And then uh, land in this flat area over here. There we go. Sun's nice and high in the sky. Let's go ahead and kill most of our velocity here. Yeah, we should have plenty of fuel to get home. Plenty of fuel. And touchdown! Yay! Okay, let's uh, turn the computer off. Make sure we're stable. Looks like we are. Okay, Jeb, hop on out. Because I believe part of the mission... Oh, I uh, don't flip your ship over. Okay, because I didn't save on the ground. Part of the mission is to plant a flag. And I believe get a surface sample. There's our HMV flag, and we say ASDF. Okay, then take a service sample and go ahead and take an EVA report too. I'm sure I'm sure everybody back home is going to be curious what the moon is like the first time ever we've landed on it. And then we want to take off to the 90, which is straight up on the nav ball. Okay, I need to go into map mode here and watch this. I don't want my apoapsis to get too high. Say 20. There we go. And actually, I could just do the burn, but I'm going to I'm going to do the whole thing. We're going to get into orbit first. We're going to get into orbit first. Okay. And we're fine as far as all this is concerned, so let's just do this. Let's lower our landing gear. It says my burn is zero meters per second, which is kind of annoying. But we'll just get up to 20 kilometers here. Oh, I guess I never, I never actually <laughs> did the maneuver node. That's why it's saying zero. Let's 
just get ourselves into orbit. There we go. And then, oh, actually, I didn't want to burn because that would have sent me that way. Okay, then, actually, let's delete this. I'm going to do this to come home. Come on. There we go. Come on, let me click on the things. Jeez, how do you people how do you people play this game without precise node and, and all the other awesomeness? Okay, so this is making it go up. Yeah, so I basically nailed it right there. So that's where we want to go. So let's bring this down to about say 40 kilometers off the surface. This is the number I'm watching. Okay. And 200 meters per second, we should have that easy. Okay, aim at that maneuver node. Oh, there's a sh screenshot for you, right? <clears throat> okay, 30 minutes from now, we will do this burn. It's three seconds long. If we don't have three seconds of fuel in our tank, we're in trouble. Not bad for my second attempt. Um, the first attempt, I'm sure would have landed, but I don't think it would have gotten home, especially considering how close this one is to not getting home. Okay. Just get right up to zero hour here. Do the rest by I. I want it about 40 kilometers, give or take. 39 is perfectly fine. Okay, we are hitting F5. Yeah, we are on the dregs of fuel though. So yeah, this was this was a lot tighter than I thought it would be. I, I thought we were gonna we were gonna do this handily. Okay. Bye bye moon. Whoa. Okay, we're in Kerbin Sphere of Influence now. And we're coming in. I'm gonna actually set a maneuver node here just so I just so I can watch it on the maneuver node thing. So I can watch Kerbin come in. There we go. We should probably be aimed retrograde. I had, apparently had time warp on, <laughs> even though I didn't know it. Uh, okay, we're aiming retrograde. We are an hour, two hours from this maneuver node. And we're in the atmosphere. As soon as we start to see flames, I'm going to lower the speed here. Solar panels are going to go. We don't care about those anymore. As soon as we actually reach periapsis, I am really impressed with these solar panels. <laughs> As soon as we reach periapsis, I'm going to gun the engine until it's gone. And then we're going to kick that away. We're actually just uh, a little bit east of Kerbal Space Center. I'm, I'm shocked that these solar panels are... Okay. <laughs> there they go, finally. We actually might do another orbit, although I don't think so. 
I can't tell. I really can't tell. I actually turned the reaction wheels off because we don't have anything generating power anymore. If we do another orbit, we do another orbit. That's not a big deal. I don't think I would have want to bring it down much lower than I did anyway. I think we can go at double time, triple time, quadruple time. Yeah. We're fine. I'm actually going to drop another quick save once we get into space again. Uh, why isn't it saying... It quick saved because I was hitting F6. Okay. Whoa, again. Once more with feeling. Should probably turn the ambient light down. It's pretty bright. There we go, that's better. Okay, and this should be it. I'm a little scared about the... I don't like going at four times warp when you're going through atmosphere slowing down. Are we going to make a third pass? We're, we're heading back up. Geez, we're going to make another pass. We might make another pass after that one. Oh, well, let's go four times then. <laughs> I have no idea how many people are watching, but... Uh, Killacross didn't say bye, so I'm going to assume you're still there. We have a moderate chance at landing near Kerbal Space Center on the next pass at, like, sunset, which would be kind of cool. Oh, you're doing the challenge at the same time. That's cool. Have you made it to Moon yet? Yeah, I'm almost positive this is going to be my last uh, orbit. Not sure you have enough fuel. Yeah, that's that's the problem I had at the beginning. That's it, It's so hard. Like, I don't know if you use Kerbal Engineer or MechJab or anything like that. Um, but, uh, like, I'm so used to, to going for the, the thin, super thin margins that I actually have trouble going back to the stock game and over, like, over preparing. Because... I'm just so used to only having as much fuel as I need that it's, it's, it's hard to put myself in the mindset of it's okay to have my launch fuel still in orbit around around moon. So I don't like it. I just don't like it. Okay, we're at orbital velocity now, so we're definitely coming down this orbit. It's fine. Not sure why the parachute isn't isn't telling me that it's like you can't do here. Oh, that's because that's a 1.0.5 thing. That's hilarious. They they update they upgraded that recently. The parachute turning red when you shouldn't deploy it. At least it still tells me it's unsafe here. But it looks like we're coming in the water. I was completely wrong about where I was gonna land. I'm on basically on the exact opposite side of the planet from where I thought it was going to be. Because <laughs> uh, I'm near the crater. This is the, that's the middle of the crater. There's the crater wall. But this, this mission is now a, a, a guaranteed success. There's, even I can't screw this one up.
It's officially safe, but I think I'm going to go down to about 1,500 meters before I hit the chute here. Also going to take it out of time warp. And I think, uh, I think I should get an A in this class. Um, I, uh, I, I, I expect not only an A, but uh, a star next to my name on uh, the chalkboard would be fine if you, if you would do that. Uh, just HMV is fine <laughs> for, for that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna bail right after this though because I got I got other stuff to do. I, like I said, I have to be at work in about an hour and a half, so I, I have like life things to do. So I hope uh, hope you enjoyed watching this. So I'll put it up on YouTube eventually. I definitely enjoyed playing it. I'm HMV and I will, as always, talk at you later.